internal requisitions and internal sales order cycle in R12. By now, we have everything we need to start the process. In session 11, we create an internal requisition. Click the start demo button to commence the demonstration. For this session, we use the purchasing super user responsibility that comes seated with Oracle applications. This responsibility gives the user access to all menus and functions within purchasing. We need to set the requisition type to internal requisition. Click OK to accept this value. The moment we click in the requisition lines region, the following information defaults. The destination type is set to inventory because we set the requisition type to internal. The requester field is populated with the name of the employee who is creating the internal requisition. This happens because we associated the user who is logged in with this employee record in a previous demo. The organization and the location default to their respective values because we had associated this employee to this specific location when setting up his employee record in HR. The source is set to inventory because we are creating an internal requisition. The source organization defaults to Seattle Manufacturing because the current shipping network is configured such that Organization M2 can source internal requisitions only from Organization M1. The item price defaults from the cost for this item as set up in the source organization. Here, the source organization is M1. We have defined this cost in a separate demo. It is time to save our work. This internal requisition will need to be approved. Also, we make a note of this requisition number. Let us review the approval status of the internal requisition. Based on the position assigned to this employee in a separate demo, the creator of the requisition had adequate authority to approve the requisition amount. The requisition is now approved. Everything looks fine. We can now proceed to the next step.
Now, we need to run the Create Internal Orders program. The Create Internal Orders Concurrent Program acts as a bridge between purchasing and order management in the internal requisition process. It pushes the requisition information into the sales order interface table. This will facilitate the next step where order management will import this data to create a sales order. Click Submit to launch this request. The process has completed. Let us review the log. This shows that the internal requisition has been successfully interfaced to Oracle Order Management. This brings us to the end of this session.